Hello, Expansion Learners. It's Steve. Hope that you're doing really well. I want to do this quick video to provide you some tips, hints, clues, and guidance for our final project, which is going to be due the end of next week on Sunday, April 16th. And a lot of students don't realize there are two format options for the final project. One is a reflection paper. The other is a PowerPoint. I really love when students try something different and go with the PowerPoint. I know you have been doing some paper reflections and the same with you, our discussion forums. So if you're open to doing the PowerPoint, that's great, but we will accept either format, of course. And most importantly, make sure that you are focusing on all of the writing prompts as stated in the guidelines that we'll get to in a second. You want to proofread your paper, make sure that you include a title page that includes the name of the assignment and course number. And here is, or here are rather, our project guidelines and rubrics. So most importantly, you want to be focusing on all of these critical elements that you see listed here. Now, I would recommend that you use title headers for each of these so that you make sure that you're clearly covering all of these sub elements too that you see here and we go on to the next page there's a few more up top here so we want to make sure that you are addressing all of the criteria or elements for the assignment that you see listed here and here, and again, I would use these as title or section headers for yourself. And it's important to note that the length of the final project should be four to six pages in length or 10 to 12 slides using 10 point font or 12 point font rather, as you see there. We have the rubric here. Uh, you can find this as well under are week number seven and to wrap things up here again make sure that you use headers that you're covering all of the critical elements or or topics that we're asking you to cover in your final project do not self plagiarize what we mean by this is you should not be copying and pasting a formal ref a, a former reflection or discussion we, this should be new stuff that we're talking about in this final project. And really dive deep and think about critical thinking. We don't want to just be focusing on the documenting of our internship or practicum. We want to really be thinking about the uh, feeling and thinking dimensions, actually, of the experience. And if you're looking for how to apply critical thinking, I would recommend you go back and look at all of the announcements I posted throughout the session. It has a lot of exciting topics that uh, encourage or challenge you to think a little bit more critically or deeply about your internship or practical experience. So as always in this course, please feel free to reach out to me if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. Thank you so much for listening and take care.